Yo, what it do, everybody? It's your boy, Robicus, and welcome back to Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. On the last episode, we pwned some noobs. Look at them. They're all over the place. Look at y'all. Y'all thought y'all was going to beat us, but unfortunately, almost everybody in my group is at death's door, which means none of us can die right now. Otherwise, that's going to be a bad day. Anyhow, y'all, um... I'm missing a key so I can get through that door, but I can't figure out where to find this key. I think I'm going to take this belt, though, because belts can be pretty good. What is this? Information, please. Wrong stick. Okay. Um, that's a composite. Nobody in my group really uses composite like that. We march ahead. But I think if we go the other way upstairs, we may be able to, uh... We may be able to find this key. Because we are getting really close to the boss. I just need everybody in my party to stay alive. What's this? A stick. I don't need that. Did I get what was in there? I did. Wait, what's this? Just making sure I got all the loot before we go upstairs. I will guide us. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the other set of stairs should be around this corner, right? That is quite a discovery. Piece of meat. Godspeed. Okay, guys. Let's hope for the best. Okay, we got some people who are just down here. Let us press on. Ooh, we gotta be careful, y'all. This is already scary, man. Is there a door? Well, I see a painting over here. We march ahead. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Okay, there's a door here. Okay, here we go. Alright, he said, a new batch of living hearts for my ritual. Okay, I got an idea. We're going to bottleneck these guys. He says, my lord Descari, I offer the sacrifice to you. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, guys. For Yom Day! Get him, y'all! Get him! Okay, so there's definitely a spellcaster over there somewhere. Um, can any of our guys actually complete this without getting pwned? First off, I'm going to... I can't save the game. Daggone it. Um, alright guys, I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it. Um, first... Why do I keep doing that? Um, I need my spellcasters to shield the main, uh... Melee DPS and our main tank. All right, three, two, go. Don't get pwned, guys. Don't get pwned, guys. Kick booty. They're doing great. You guys are doing fantastic. Dang. Kurt and Sela just went in there and just started wrecking crap. That's what I'm talking about. Look at y'all. Thanks, Inquisitor. Okay. I'm going to grab the... There's the key. That's what we were missing. There's a scythe here. A bunch of other stuff. Um, that might be good armor. Ooh, there's a cloak. One of our characters can be cloaked now. That's composite. We need, like, regular longbows. I need at least one for my boy here. Um, because he doesn't use composites. We got this. Ooh, there's another one. Alright, Nino. Not Nino. It is Camellia. Go ahead and unlock that, please. You are. 
Not gonna fold you. You do good. The spirits guide me. Okay. I hope we can carry this much. It's goodness gracious. Okay. Is there anything here I needed? It's just composite. Okay. At your discretion. Wrong one. I might want to have us rest anyways so that these characters are good for the next fight. Um, alright. I stand ready. Let's actually look at the inventory though. Because I might have stuff that can actually be used by my characters. Like this is entrapping longbow, but it's composite. Um, I did see a what's the call it? What's this? Masterwork composite. I saw a cape. We picked up a cape. Okay. Two resistance on all saving throws. Okay, so if I swap to make it equipment. Okay. Um, holy crap. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Okay, so our tank and our DPS should both uh, be able to survive almost anything now. We gotta go back around to um, open the door and then whoop the booty of the boss. Let us press on. Okay, before we go in there, let's rest real quick. Every scientist thinks their field research is going to continue forever. But as the saying goes, at the end of the day, we must all compile our bibliography and references. Okay, cool. Um... Looks like everything's good. Our path leads on. Okay, so with the key we should be able to get through. You know, she's got a point. Rely on me. Tank in the fr front. Um, Lead on. Should be able to open this door with the key. Nice. Oh shoot. We are the light. Take him out. Faith this tank will be able darkness. to do it. Crap, how many of these guys are there? Camellia, will you please stop it with the creepiness? Oh, they can't hit her at all. Oh, they just hit her somehow. They're ghouls. These were all crusaders that were transformed into ghouls. Okay, let's see what this says. I think I did it. It's an ancient uh, picture, written in ancient font, of church rituals, but the demons have befouled it by filling the basin with human intestines. Its holy power might return should someone cleanse this place. Can anyone clear? Oh, someone can clear it. There we go. We cleared it. Oh, nice. Woohoo! Did you see that? I think we just got a bonus. Why did you drag me here, you wench? To mock me one last time? Go on, finish me! Drink my blood, devour my soul! Just get on with it. Let me die at last. Staunton, light of my life, don't be so silly. I could never hurt you. I brought you away from the battle to save you. My love, you don't belong in this grubby city where everyone hates you. Come away with me. You know I have always loved you. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. You lying filth. 
You have the gall to say that to my face? But it was you. It was all you. You're the reason I lost everything. You're the reason why everyone despises me! So it was me who brought shame upon you in front of the people you called friends? It was me who mocked you year after year, spat on you, forced you to do dirty, demeaning work like you were a drudge, and not the bravest of knights. No, it was all of them. The Crusaders and their witless queen. If you remember the day Dresden fell, I asked you to be its new ruler. You refused, of course, you and your principles. But look what's become of you. They talk about love, but they are really talking about a terrible disaster, like an earthquake, or a hurricane, or a shipwreck. Amber, you know, even a fool looks wise when their mouth is shut. I'm sorry to say that there is truth in the demon's words. The Crusaders really have treated him terribly. I say this as a criminal who has been forgiven by other knights of Iomade. But like all demons, she has built a mountain of lies and deception upon this one grain of truth. My offer still stands. Come away from here, my love. You will rule Dresden as a king, and I will be your queen. What are you hoping for, demon? Stan is loyal to the Crusaders' cause. He won't succumb to your lies. There's no bigger lie in all of Galarian than your beloved Crusades. It's century-old delusion encouraged by your disgraced queen. The only thing that is true is my love for you, my darling. She is a lion. <laughs> Stop. Resist it. She's trying to fool you. Dearest, it's all right. I'm here. We'll never be parted again. Let's go. Come. Don't do it. Oh, good job. Get back. Ah. Okay, so grasping his weapon, Stalton slashes at Monago's eyeless face with surprising agility for one of his stature, and he flees up the stairs. Curses! Ugh. Stubborn as a mule. Never mind, my pet. Never mind. You won't get far. You will kiss this scratch and beg for forgiveness. You will be mine. Holy, eternally, and willingly. We gotta stop a crew. Let's go. Um, wait up. Before we go upstairs, Ember, I need you. To heal uh, the tank up real quick. One more game. Come on, let's go. Um, yeah, we don't need all that. Okay, so if we're going to do this right, then it's going to have to be Wait up. Nino can do something, right? She can create a pit right there. Everybody else hold position. Create the pit already. Good. Ha! 
That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Nino. Uh... Charge. Magic should be used in other ways. Do not hold back. Okay, so everybody should hit him. Take him. Take him out, guys. Take him out. Not a hard enough bruise, though. Good job. That must be one dangerous weapon. This war must end. I agree with you. Got two more of these. Yes. Rely on me. Lead on. Um, is that the only way around? I think I did it. It's an unholy symbol of Discari, the demon lord who attacked Cannabis. All right. Thanks, Lamb. You're so it's awesome, no Lamb. All right. Here's the ward stone. <clears throat> Day six, month Rova, in the ninth year. Upon entering the chamber where the vanquished Wardstone resides, the Crusaders could have expected many things an ambush, deadly spells, or hordes of enemies, but not an empty hall. Okay. Still and silent with no Monago or her henchmen, only the obelisk and glimmers of light dancing on the dirty floor. But then again, all is not placed as it seems. Curtis Jackson once again hears the choir, this time the voices sound louder, more insistent, one step, another, and suddenly Curtis Jackson sees the warstone, not as it was a moment ago, but somehow completely different. It is no monolith. Okay, so, emanating light. It is a cage made of pure energy. The place where Discari struck looks like a festering wound from the tendrils of dirty red and purple darkness that are creeping throughout the entire artifact. And there inside, two hosts of flaming warriors are locked in battle. One is light, the other blood red. But they are all waiting. For what? Okay, so hearken onto the light warrior's words. The Light Warrior speaks of duty, service, and sacrifices made. Their words reveal the truth of the Ward Stones. Each one contains a host of angels, volunteers from heaven, who have committed to this indefinite imprisonment, imprisonment in order to guard mortal kind from the demonic threat. They make no complaint. They ask no easing of their burden. If the goddess and her herald offered them the same choice again, they would consider it the ultimate honor to sacrifice their freedom for the cause. The angels know Tuscari's evil plan. When the last of the light warriors falls, the wardstone will become a deadly explosive that will destroy everything around it, and the other obelisk in the chain will meet the same fate. The light warriors pray for help. They plead for someone to strike down. Okay, so... Requires Aeon. Look on the angels with the Aeon's eyes, okay? Or I can hearken unto the Red Warrior's words? Okay. Um, well, let me look at this first. Possibly. Okay, so uh, there's more to it, though. So their fallen brethren, those who succumb to the demonic corruption, are already beyond salvation, but if they are stopped, it will allow the ward stone to heal and the light host to continue its duty. The crystal chisel discovered in the ruins of Kenebris is the ideal weapon for this task. It will cut out the corruption along with those who have succumbed to it and restore the ward stone's full power. The eyes of the Aeon, until now slumbering peacefully in the hero's soul awaken. 
They urged the hero to look upon the word stone through them. The Aeon's eyes wishes to see. Okay. Um, look on the angels with the Aeon's eyes. Uh, the eyes of the Aeons pierce through the essence, matter, and time, and reveal the truth of the ward stones. The stones are just as much a preservation of the world wound itself. The demons are not of this plane, but this did not give Yomde and her herald license to disrupt the balance still further. By imprisoning untold numbers of angels in the stone, a crime committed in the name of good does not offset those committed in the name of evil, it only multiplies the harm done to the cosmic order. Okay, so let's see what the Red Warriors say. The Red Warrior speaks of pain and lies and disillusionment. Their words reveal that the truth of the Ward Stone, the barrier surrounding the ward, world wound, is built on the bondage and suffering of countless angels. Every injury dealt to the Ward Stone, these angels experience as physical agony, the pain has driven them insane. Deceived by the hollow platitudes about duty and service, they suffer torment day after day for the sake of an, of ungrateful mortals who do not even know their names. Wow. The Red Warrior knows that their blades now turned against their former brethren hasten the triumph of Discari and his servants. Once the war sun has been wholly conquered by corruption, it will become a deadly weapon under the demon's control. So they beg for freedom while others pray for death, but they all agree that this existence is undurable. The crystal chisel discovered in the ruins of Canabras is the perfect weapon for a massacre. It cannot force open the door for those who wish to escape, but it can destroy the ward stone along with all its prisoners, willing and unwilling. None will be able to claim victory, but all will be gifted a merciful death that will end their suffering once and for all. Oh, shoot. So it sounds like the Wardstone is just a bunch of angels stuck in a crystal, protecting people without them knowing. But wouldn't it be better if they were just not in the Wardstone? Okay, so if I destroy the stone with all the angels inside that just does that um if i quell the anger of the red warriors by offering them peace um that would be good um i can cleanse the war stone destroying the fallen celestials i can wield the stone's magic and return the celestials to the rightful plane as the aeons would have wanted i mean that's I don't see how that's not good, though, because if I put them back in their rightful plane, then that means they're free to come back and actually help the humans. Um, wield the stone's magic and return the celestials to their planes, or... Hmm. So if I cleanse the ward stone, and destroy the fallen celestials then that just leaves the celestials inside the ward stone suffering but if i send them all back then it'll bring them all peace and even though the uh, stone is no longer active um they can come back to actually you know save the world I think that's actually the best option. Even though they're trying to make it sound like it's the neutral option, I really think this is the good option. Let me see if there's anything else that they want to say real quick. Um, it says, uh, do, do, do. There it is. The fate of two angelic coats, faithful and fallen, and the fate of Canterbury, perhaps even Mendev. Now rest in the hero's hands. So how will he proceed? Okay, so whatever the crystal chisel maybe its power is great indeed it can destroy the stone along with all the inhabitants or it can mend it by killing the angel defectors within it uh, what it cannot do alas is free those who wish to escape and keep the stone intact for those who wish to remain god is tinkering one that will cost no lives one strike with the crystal chisel at the perfect point and the stone's magic will be destroyed and all the angels will go to the rightful place to heaven or to the plane of chaos and evil. The remnants of the Aeon's power draws 
all that is left of the Aeon's existence to the hero, urging him to put things right. But somewhere deep within the hero's soul, the familiar hour sees endless rage, unbridled hatred. What will happen if it's unleashed here at the stone? Hmm. Well, that's the thing. It won't be un it won't be unleashed here. It'll send them back to heaven, and if they were able to come from heaven to Earth, or whatever their uh, their version of Earth is, then they can obviously come back. Alright, I actually didn't want to choose the Aeon Path, I wanted to choose the Angel Path, but the Aeon Path is the only one that brings peace to everybody, somehow. So I'm going to wield the stone's magic and return the Celestials to the rightful plane, as, I mean, the Aeon would have wanted, but as everybody who's inside technically wants. The Ward Stone, the goddess's weapon, is used in her volatile... Okay, <clears throat> the Ward Stone, the goddess's weapon, used in her... Violation of cosmic order. The demon crafted chisel discovered at the scene of the very same crime. It would have only been fair if both instruments ceased to exist in the same moment. One period, one precise strike, and the chisel will cut through the stone like a hot knife through butter, nullifying the criminal magic of the inheritor. With cries of terror and amazement, the imprisoned angels go to their rightful places. Uh, the faithful to heaven and the fallen to their plane of chaos and evil. The chisel turns to dust, and with it a blinding flash, and the stone follows into oblivion. The eyes of the Aeon look on in satisfaction. The Aeon's mission is complete, uh, though it came at a high price. What remains of the Aeon can now rest in peace, knowing the world is in good hands. And as for mortals... Uh, who, as for the mortal who brought all this to an end, seeing the world through the Aeon's eyes has left its mark on him. The Aeon's orderly worldview, not unlike a shifting grid of coordinates, has been imprinted on his eyes, which will henceforth be able to see the truths that often evade ordinary mortals. The Crusaders succeeded. The Angel's battle within the War Zone has ended, and the threat to the entire chain of stones has been eliminated, of course. This is one no guarantee of safety for the future. What happened here can again happen. Uh, the Medivians can no longer rely on Iomde's gift as they once did, but the danger has passed for now. Cool. Um, and the purple stone knife is gone now. Rejoicing like children. The storm is coming and none of them sees it. Shall we add to their festivities, my lady? How about a little lightning to burn their flesh? Oh no, Suchi. We'll leave such frolics to Discari's little gnats. We are here for something else. Something I have greatly anticipated for a long, long time. So the blistering vivid memory releases you, and you return from the depths of the past to the present. You feel a fresh breeze on your face. The energy expelled from the wardstone has blown the roof off the gray garrison. Uh-oh. The wardstone's energy suffuses you, and through you flows into your allies. Okay. I'm gonna take that as a good thing. Oh yeah. Get ready, people. Oh, what is it? It tickles. 
Uh, shut up, Ember. What? What are you doing here? How? Ah, I see. Tricks from your pathetic goddess. <laughs> so even Iomade will resort to dirty tricks when you have her cornered. Don't celebrate yet, mortal. There's no one to hide you from me now. It doesn't matter, because I'm about to wipe the floor with you. Oh, look, you're already wounded. Pathetic mortal. I'll have no trouble finishing you off now. You'll die anyway. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright, so if you didn't catch it because I didn't read it, um, she started bleeding uh, while she was talking crap. And now we're about to pwn this noob. The demoness looks formidable with her entourage around her, but her threats ring hollow to you now. You look at her and feel like a titan looking at an ant. Overwhelmingly, all-conquering power fills you. What? That little demoness? Those irritating hordes of the abyss? The gods themselves are your only equals now. Crusaders never surrender. I will vanquish you. In Iomade's name, we will cast you back into the abyss. Thanks, Kamala. What are you babbling about? You can't possibly still have any hope of victory, you doomed little cockroach. Your pathetic crusades are the laughing stock of the abyss. Demons laugh a lot, but is it because they're happy? Truth is, I think you're very sad, and you laugh to forget about your sadness. Ember, please, can it? Put a sock in it. Your goddess sent you to die. You think that's a victory? All you've done is postpone the deaths of all the other mortals. And not even for very long. But your wait for death is over. You won't see what I'm going to do to your little friends because I'm going to kill you right now. Bring it, you little eyeless loser. Do not fear. Do not waver. I'm going straight for you. Wait, where are you at? Right there. The Inheritor, guide my blade. Oh, snap. We are wiping the floor with these people. Drop. I, will help where I, can. I did, but I'm back. How are you doing that? Where is your power coming from? Panago, to me! Staunton, my darling, I knew you'd come back for me. Shut it! Get over here now. Get behind me. If you want to finish her off, you'll have to step over my dead body first. Killing me won't be a challenge, I know. But I can last long enough to give her time to escape. Manago, let him go. Let him go, but I haven't done anything. He came to me on his own, of his own free will. Because he still loves me. Isn't that right, my love? Oh my gosh, this is making me think of that story with uh, Redix was talking about when... Uh... Poor Osgood had a girlfriend that was totally bad for him. Yes, I'm here of my own free will. No, you're not. Stoughton, don't do this. Don't do it? And why not? You still have a chance to redeem yourself. Stoughton, it's the truth. The Crusaders of Canabras have treated you like dirt. But we would never do that to you. We are your friends. And you know it to be true. Shut up! I've been listening to fairy tales about redemption for 70 years. Enough! Not another word! What did she promise you for your betrayal? Dresden, you must know that's a lie. She's already given me a lot more than all you crusaders ever did. Compassion, understanding, kind words. So what if it's a lie? I want to believe her lies. I've had enough to hear with yours. Your lies about forgiveness and redemption. You're hurting yourself. 
just so she can hurt you even worse later. And all that so you can feel hurt until the day you die. <sighs> You're awfully silly. So are you, Amber. I know, girl. But it's too late for me to learn any different. When I die, pour one out for the old fool. Enough talking. Monago, cast your spells and get out of here. I'll hold him off. Quickly, before I change my mind. No, my sweet. I won't abandon you. We'll leave this place together. And we'll go where we can be happy. Oh my gosh, she's terrible. Go. Let me finally... Let's go. The demon and the traitor vanish in a magical haze. You feel the energy trumming through your blood and soul start to phase. It doesn't leave you. It hides somewhere deep down. Leaving behind a small amount of incredible energy as well as the understanding that you will one day master the inconceivably huge power. Alright guys. Well, that seems like that was it, y'all. Anyhow, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Finally finished the Grey Garrison. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Shout out to the little nephews and cuss views, and I will see you in the next one.